of AEM, uh, which is called a event listener and event handler. Uh, if you take the sling letter, right? So AEM sites. Um, so you don't need to go to workflow because if event dot node added. So there is another sample sling event handler. The two different APIs itself don't. So and what is the difference between event listener and a workflow? Workflow is like multiple. Hey, uh, hi everyone. Welcome to ITB. Um, hope everyone has a good uh, weekend. Um, so um, today I wanted to discuss uh, some of the backend topics of Adobe Experience Manager, uh, especially real-time scenarios as well as interview questions and answers. So uh, good feedback which I've got from the previous uh, videos is that uh, um, people wanted to have uh, um, some real-time code uh, go through also as part of entry questions and answers if uh, that can be done if possible but uh, you know a code is not actually publicly can be shown it's a privacy related data and we could not actually have it uh, um, shared to anyone so I will show the sample files and then make sure you'll understand the knowledge about how we can actually relate the real-time examples with the actual the theoretical answers which I'm telling about the real-time scenarios okay so in this topic, as I mentioned previously, I'll be covering uh, the backend topic of AEM, uh, which is called a event listener and event handler. So <clears throat> normally people will ask you in interview questions, uh, what are all the backend topics which you have worked on? We would say, I have worked on Sling models, I have worked on Sling servlets, I have worked on uh, OSJ components, OSJ services, I also worked on schedulers and workflows replication agents and then you will say event listeners event handlers sling filters so these are all the topics which you will say you have worked on on the back end so when they focus on the event listener and event handler topic they'll ask uh, what do you mean by event listener and what do you mean by event handler and what is the difference between an event listener and an event handler so the first thing is event listener is a jcr api so basically when you see uh, adobe experience manager the architecture is like three layered right so i'll showcase how it is take any paint file okay so basically the architecture layer is like uh, right three layers so if you see uh, if you take the sling is the top J jcr is the middle and felix is the bottom okay so jcr is basically node api okay and uh, sling is basically uh, apache sling is basically sling api right and um, apache felix is osj which is actually combining all the three so when someone asks uh, what is the event listener so all the e node related events listening activity will be done by the api which is provided by the aem out of the box which is called uh, uh, event listener api so how do you create an event listener and how do you actually listen to the node events so i'll showcase an um, example of how event listeners can be created okay so basically, if you go to any of the um, sample uh, Adobe Experience Manager code, right? Um, you can basically get a sample file, uh, which uh, I, I'll showcase the out of the one out of the box publicly available repository because that will be better, right? So AEM sites um, GitHub code, right? AM we can cite GitHub. So if you go to AM we can cite GitHub, uh, you can actually go to the code base in GitHub. And then if you go to the sample core bundle and uh, where you can actually see the classes which are available um, in core, you have SRC and then you have main AM. So you can just uh, move this a little bit, right? So here you can see IMPL files. So they just have hello world. They don't have even uh, filters also seems like so out of the box. So it's a pretty basic uh, uh, GitHub code of weekend site. If we go little complex, we would need to have event listeners and event handlers available. Uh, but I can show what is publicly available in the um, GitHub. Uh, if it is not available, we have in your chat GPT where you can see that and then you can understand. So 
what happened. Giving me the listener sample code AEM. So if you can actually search that uh, option in the Google, you'll get the data related to uh, yeah. See, here is a sample event listening Java class. Okay. Um, basically, as I mentioned, there is an observation manager API where we can add event listeners and uh, we can actually mention event uh, on event method. We can override, we can mention event type, event action, and event path. So, if you see this uh, sample JSR event listener class, okay, you can see that uh, everything in the backend can be will have to be registered as a component, then only it will bundle can recognize, right. So here they are implementing the event listener interface. So any of the event listener API or class should implement this in event listener interface. And then uh, once this implementation is done, then we will actually have to override on event method, right? 